Hello lovelies, I'm back and today I am starting yet another Project Pan project. And I'm starting this because it was an idea that really got me excited about panning, but also because um, I'm making some actual progress on my other pan panning projects. I feel like my 10 before July is moving along nicely, that's going to be over soon. And I'm heading into a couple other projects this summer, but I have a little break. So I just think now is a good time to start another project. And this is a small one, so I think I can get through it. I'm going to run this probably through September. This is a, an original of mine, as far as I know. And this is based on the book slash movies. There have been a bunch of them made. Um, Alice in Wonderland, because that is my all-time favorite book. And... I love it. I love everything about it. I think it is whimsical and fantastic. And I wanted to do a project pan, which I'm calling Alice in Wonder Pan, related to all the characters in Alice in Wonderland. So I have picked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine products. Two of them are not here because I was too lazy to carry them down from the shower. And this project is a little bit unique because there are hair products in it, which I almost never put hair products in my project pans. So I will show you what I've chosen for each of the characters. Basically, I'm just trying to use these up before September, and it was a theme that was kind of fun. So here is Alice in Wonder Pan. The first item I've chosen is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Snapdragon. And please know that I realize these are not all the characters in Alice in Wonderland because there are so many of them, but I didn't, I don't know, I didn't want to get into like the Mock Tortoise and the the Griffin and the Knight and the, the Duchess and all of these like extended characters. Um, it was just like too much. I just wanted to go with like the basic characters that everybody knows. So the first item I chose was the ColourPop Super Shock the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Snapdragon, which is this pretty blue color. And the reason I chose this is because if you remember in the Disney movie, there's a whole part where like the flowers are like there and she's they're like talking or something. I don't know. I haven't seen the Disney Alice in Wonderland in years because I'm really about the book and I hate, hate, hate the Tim Burton renditions of Alice in Wonderland, but we're not going to get into that because I'm like a purist Alice in Wonderland snob. Anyway, there's that whole part with the flowers and the singing and whatnot in the Disney movie, so that's why I chose Snapdragon for Alice. Coincidentally, there's actually a super shock shadow called White Rabbit. I don't understand why, because it is like crazy, crazy, bronzy, coppery. Oh my god, I hope I didn't just break it. Well, it's relatively safe. Um, it kind of, well, it has dog hair all around the, the pan now. Gross. But also, it kind of like separated from the pan a little bit. Um, I think it'll be okay. It'll be all right. Anyway, it's this pretty copper color. This is White Rabbit. Um, I've only used it a couple of times, and I thought that would obviously be good for the White Rabbit. Next is the NARS, what is this? Something Lip Something, Power Matte Lip Pigment in Star Woman. I actually have this in my 18 before 18 project pan as well, but I'm doubling up because this reminded me so much of the Red Queen. It is like this blood red color, and I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to be using that in this project pan as well. This one I thought was perfect too. This is the Katie Cat Gloss from CoverGirl in the shade Catalope. And I thought because it was a cat, we could like Cheshire Cat this up. So there's for the Cheshire Cat. I do have Tweedledee and Tweedledum, who I realize are from Through the Looking Glass, not Alice in Wonderland. Um, for them, I chose shampoo and conditioner because I thought they went together well. So I want to pan my OGX 
curl coconut curls shampoo and conditioner those are the ones I left upstairs because I use them all the time and I didn't want to bring them down from the shower they're probably wet and so they're upstairs but those are my choice for Tweedledee and Tweedledum I also have I also have hair products for the Mad Hatter which is as close as I can get to a hat and the March hair because I thought that was a nice pun they are the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. This is for the Mad Hatter. And also the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray for the March Hair. And finally, not to forget our friend the Dormouse. Because he sleeps the whole way through the tea party, I chose the number seven Beautiful Skin Night Cream. I use this a lot too. Now, please note that most of these products are brand new. So like the NARS, the Katie Cat Gloss, I haven't even used yet. Both the hair products, um, the shampoos are about a third of the way gone. I will mark them for the next video. And the ColourPop shadows I've used a couple times. This is the only thing that is pretty well dipped into. This one's going to be super easy to pan. But it's got like a lot gone because I use this all the time. I'm very sad that Ulta is no longer selling this particular incarnation of number seven night cream. Uh, I don't know if it was discontinued or they're just not selling it because they still have the day cream that I also use, but all of their night creams are crazy expensive other than this one. Not crazy expensive, but like 24 bucks for one of these or something. So, um, I'll, I'll probably be trying another one of their night creams because I do like it, but um, sorry I'm distracted because I'm bulk filming videos and Labyrinth is on, which is my favorite movie, and they're the like fire gang scene where they're like chilly, chilly down in. Um, so that is Alice in Wonder Pan, and I am looking forward to digging into this and using up some of these products. I... I'm filming this in May, but by the time this video goes up, it will be June and I will be getting started. So I will be posting monthly updates through September and also showing you progress and progress pictures and videos. So stay tuned. Feel free to steal this idea. I would love to see your interpretation of this whole challenge and I will see you in the next video.